It's now almost 2016. The prez no longer must be male, or even be white for that matter. With a natural born woman, we can't fail. You must enforce the laws with fidelity, and in emergencies do more. Remember King Rodney, people were unhappy, and like Lincoln in Civil War. Grant me clemency, you are the president, for did it for Tricky Dicky. Recommend to Congress your budget plan, and be sure to fill vacancies. Use carefully your power to veto, and in the State of Union, which became a speech when FDR used the radio, tell Congress what you want them to act upon. Now issuing an executive order is different than making a law. It is used by the press to tell people how to follow the law without flaw. So far we've been talking domestic, but the press also has power overseas. Like negotiating treaties and foreign agreements, another part of bureaucracy. <laughs> Recognition is rather important. The press says that you fit our mold. If you stage a coup and topple a ruler, you will find yourself out in the cold. <laughs> Remember us, so oh President, when you ask Congress to declare war, for it is we who will go off to fight them, unless you send drones out the door. But remember this power is limited, by Congress's authority to declare war. By war resolution passed after Vietnam to keep your feet on the floor. Finally, you two are chief of state, which really means a figurehead. The first person we think of when we say US, by you we promise to be led. Hail to the chief, O oh president, hail to the chief, hurrah. Your power is checked by the system, but you still can do a lot. <laughs>